In this experiment, we shall determine the Planck constant using the photoelectric effect. For this experiment, we require a set of filters that allow light of known wavelength, the photoelectric cell, and the source of white light. Inside the photoelectric cell, there is a material with a very small work function to be sensitive to visible light. The photoelectric cell has two electrodes, one of which is connected to the material, and the material is enclosed in a vacuum. We shall connect the photoelectric cell in such a way such that the material is connected to the positive polarity of the supply. When incident radiation of visible light enters the photoelectric cell, electrons are released from the material, but the electrons are decelerating in a force field. The brightness of the bulb can be varied as well. We start the experiment by choosing a filter. In this case, we choose a filter that allows light of wavelength 460 nanometers to pass through. We place the filter at the opening to the photoelectric cell such that white light passes through the filter and only blue light of 460 nanometers will hit the material inside the photoelectric cell. We then adjust the stopping voltage to obtain a zero current on the meter. This means that all the electrons do not manage to reach the other electrode to continue the circuit. Now we switch to the voltage reading and we read that the stopping potential for this wavelength of light is 0.97 volts. Now we remove the filter to change it to another wavelength and we choose the 500 nanometer wavelength, hence it's a different color. And we cover up the entrance to the photoelectric cell, such that now light passing through the filter will hit the material with this wavelength. We switch to the current reading and adjust the stopping potential, again to bring a zero current. Then we switch to the voltage reading and in this case we see a stopping potential of 0.75 volts. We repeat the experiment to obtain five different readings of stopping potential and we tabulate all the data in a table as shown. We use the equation C equals F lambda where C is the speed of light to convert all the wavelengths into frequencies in Hertz. Please note that this is the third column and in the header there is a factor of 10 to the power of 14. We use Einstein's photoelectric equation and reduce it to a straight line graph, such that when we plot stopping potential against the frequency of the incident photon, we obtain a straight line graph with a negative intercept and a positive gradient. From the gradient we can find the Planck constant, and this turns out to be 5.9 times 10 to minus 34 joule second. When we work out the percentage accuracy, this is within the experimental error of 10%.